So welcome back to Stoffer Garage. Today we're gonna be deep cleaning one of the coolest cars I have ever driven. And honestly, I would love to own one of these. This is a Lamborghini Urus that needs a deep clean on the inside and the outside. And the owner of this car actually put 30,000 miles on this car. It is driven, it is transporting kids, so it is dirty on the inside and for an exotic that is very rare to this extent. So we're gonna deep clean it today and make this thing look like new. So if you're new, subscribe down below, give this video a huge thumbs up. Let's get started. And before we get too far into the video, I do wanna say that the Foxtail pet detailing brushes are officially in stock. I do have them in hand and any pre-orders will be shipping out on Monday. So if you're looking to pick one up, go ahead and do so now because the, they are literally flying off the shelves. My inventory is already running low. So make sure you get one today and pick one up at foxclean.com. First things first, we're gonna start with the outside of the car this time, and we're gonna pressure wash the outside to try to rinse off any dirt that is just stuck to the surface. And then we're gonna be applying our wheel cleaner to the tires and the wheels and let that sit for a little bit while we get the foam cannon ready. Now while you enjoy a little foam cannon clips here, I'm gonna just let you know that at the very beginning of this video, the car was indeed warmed up when I was revving it. So all of you that have already commented down below about it being cold, you are incorrect, it was warm, so don't worry. And two, I will say that the owner let me borrow this car for a half day before I had to detail it and told me to enjoy it and let me drive it around. And I will say this is the fastest car I have ever driven. And not only that, the coolest car I've ever driven. I would love to own one of these one day. And if I ever have the opportunity to, to throw down $220,000 for a used one, which is the going rate for one of these now, um, if that ever comes to be, I will gladly do so because this car is amazing. And if you ever have the opportunity to rent one, drive one, see one, you'll know exactly what I mean when you see one in person. Now this stage of the detail, the foam has dripped off the paint, kind of pulling any of the dirt down with it with gravity. And at that point now I'm gonna be using my wash mitt to use my two bucket method to wash the car, kind of starting towards the top and working my way down. Now, like I mentioned, this is the fastest car I've ever driven. So I want you guys to comment below, what is the fastest car you've ever ridden in or ever driven? Or if it's your current car, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys experienced because um, before this, I would say the fastest car I've ever ridden in was a new NSX. Um, but this is definitely taking the cake because this thing is not only a Urus, but it has catless downpipes in a tune. So it's extra fast. And that's why it sounds extra cool to begin in this video. Now with the outside complete, we're gonna be moving to the inside of the vehicle. And for that, we need to pull out all of the debris, all the trash, all the floor mats before we can get to the vacuuming process.
One thing I wanted to mention is that when you're detailing, you know, say it's a Lamborghini or if you're detailing a Hyundai, at the end of the day, it's still just a car. You're still gonna be going through the same process. You're gonna still take the same amount of care. You know, with a Lamborghini, you might be a little bit more delicate with your wash myth method or with a certain type of polish or a certain type of, you know, ceramic coating the owner might request at the end of the day. But at the end of, you know, the detail, you're still gonna be accomplishing the same thing, still using the same tools to get the car clean. So if you ever have the opportunity to clean, you know, a car of this type of value, just keep in mind that there's really not much difference to it. So do not be intimidated at the end of the day. Now, one trick for all of you that have perforated leather seats is if you have stuff in, like stuck in each one of those little holes, take your vacuum cleaner and just kind of hit the surface of the, of the seat itself. And you'll see here in this shot, all the little pieces popping out so that way you can vacuum them up. You might not be able to get them all out, which we'll take care of later on, but initially you'll be able to get majority of them out if you try this method. Now, one interesting thing about this car that I discovered during the detail was that there is a battery underneath the passenger floorboard and there's a battery in the trunk. 
typically I've, I've never seen that before. Um, typically I'll see them in the trunk or in, you know, the, the obviously the front underneath the hood. Um, but this is the first time I found a battery that is actually located underneath the passenger wheel well, which, you know, from a center of gravity standpoint, it makes sense. Um, but it is definitely a first time seeing something like this. Now for the floor mats, I just used my carpet cleaning solution to spray it on to the carpets, use my drill brush to agitate it, and here I'm using just clean old water to extract all of that dirt, all of that dirty extractor fluid, and make these black floor mats look like new again. Whenever I'm editing these videos and filming this voiceover for the extractor pours, I always think about Jim Carrey when he's in Ace Ventura saying, yummy. And please let me know in the comments below that you know what I'm talking about.
Now for all the interior panels and components, I'm just gonna be using my all-purpose cleaner, diluted down 10 to one with water, and then I'm using my detailing brushes from foxclean.com to get into all those little nooks and crannies agitate, get all that dirt out of any of those different textured surfaces and inside those speaker grills, and then use my clean microfiber towels to wipe them clean. Once they are clean, I am using uh, Chemical Guys Silk Shine as a top coat to kind of help protect them from UV rays, but also give them that nice luster shine as brand new plastic usually has when it comes from the factory. Probably the hardest area to clean was this center console area between these little switches and buttons that I'm detailing here. Um, because all of that center dash is like a screen and is like that really shiny black textured surface, um, it made it really hard to even get clean with glass clean and a clean microfiber towel because if you barely touched it with your glove or your skin or even just a wet or dirty part of your microfiber towel, it left a mark. Um, so that was probably the hardest part to clean. It just took a little extra time to make sure you got into every one of those little grooves and corners of that center console area.
Now for cleaning the leather, I'm using Lexol Cleaner, my bristle brush to get into all those seams, nooks and crannies, and all those little perforations as much as possible. Uh, but at one point I do have to bust out a pick tool, which I have used in the past for different things. Uh, but for this time, I'm using it to actually poke into each little individual hole that still has stuff stuck into it before I apply my leather conditioner on top of the surface to protect the leather and give it a more pliable uh, finish and shine. One cool thing about all of the seats in this car, and this includes the rear ones, is they're all bucket seats. They all have seat warmers and they all have seat massagers built into them. And even the rear seats have reclining and forward and backwards, uh, you know, adjustability, which is pretty cool when you think about it. If you've never had the opportunity to see a Lamborghini in person or you know sit in one, one of the cool things about the start button for the car is it's underneath this red switch like a fighter jet would where you have to flip it up and press the button. It's just one cool little touch that has always been like a Lamborghini type feature.
So I wanna say thank you guys for watching today's video. This was, like I've said, probably the coolest car I have ever detailed on this channel. And honestly, it is the most expensive car I've ever detailed on this channel. This thing goes for brand new, upwards of $300,000. Um, this particular one has 30,000 miles on already. And even a used one with that many miles goes for low to mid 200 thousands which is crazy um, and i just want to you know say that if you ever have the opportunity to ride in one of these cars or ever see one in person you'll know exactly what i mean these are really really neat cars um, and i just want to say hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and i'll see you in the next video